Hello class of 2014. We made it. Four years, four years, 44 football games, too many tests, and countless friendships later, and we are still standing. As we come to an end of our, the end of our journey together, I can only describe our shared experience as bittersweet. No one who has experienced the cafeteria food, the merciless gossip, or one of Mr. Burroughs' tests would ever describe high school as an easy experience. I would like to personally scream at whoever thought it was a good idea to put a bunch of dramatic hormonal teenagers all together in one However, despite the depiction of traumatic high school experiences in just about every young adult novel, high school is actually quite a wonderful place. This school is home to many of my own most treasured memories, and when I look across the sea of faces in front of me, I see some of my most trusted friends. I know that I am not alone in these sentimental musings. Perhaps the reason that high school is so successful at creating lasting friendships is due to the struggles that we face together. We are defined by these experiences that we have had the pleasure or the pain of sharing. We are shaped by the fear of rejection, the interconnected cliques, the long nights studying, and the pounding base of parties. We are brought together by over-enthusiastic teachers, the tears of prom, the constant texting, and the excessive testosterone of football games. And although we are frequently shattered by a failed test, a flubbed audition, or a broken relationship, we are rebuilt even stronger, maybe even learning something about ourselves along the way. Like it or not, we are now bonded by something that goes beyond camaraderie or friendship. We are a pride of lions, brought together by circumstance and kept together by loyalty. I know it seems like we're saying goodbye, but we will carry a part of each other into everything we do to remind us of who we were and who we have the potential to become. Personally, I know owe oh, no small part of my success to the many terrific teachers, pleasant parents, cool counselors, and supercalifragilistic students I have known in my time here. In short, what really makes San Marcos special isn't the athletics or the academics or the arts. It's the people. I know that my high school experience would have been very different if I had not attended San Marcos. In any other high school, I would have been banished to the corner of the quad for my excessive love of all things Disney alone. <laughs> but at San Marcos, I was welcomed with open arms by every single person I was fortunate enough to meet. At San Marcos, regardless of our differences, we are united by our royal blood. We recognize that at our very core, when we are at our most vulnerable, we are all good, albeit flawed, people. There is nowhere else that I have been, short of the happiest place on earth, that I have found this level of kindness and acceptance. I encourage you all as we go from here and leave our precious campus behind, that we take with us the memories, the friendships, and the morals. After all, royals should never act like anything less. Now, as we turn away from the poster plastered quad and the red and blue striped halls that have been our home for the past four years, it is only human nature to worry about how we will fare out there in the real world. I beg of you, push away your self-doubts, forget your fears, and do away with your insecurities. This is not the end. It is simply a new chapter in the story of our lives. Redefine yourself. Don't waste your time living someone else's life. Make yours count for something. Dance to loud music. Sing even if you're out of key. Run, jump, climb, soar. We are ready. We are the future and our time is here.